The Heat remain alive. Good evening. My name is Lucas Weiss, reporting remotely on the 2020 NBA Finals. The Miami Heat force a game six against the Los Angeles Lakers, defeating them 111 to 108 in game five. LeBron James put up 40 points, but even that couldn't get the Lakers to championship glory because of Jimmy Butler, who added his second triple-double of the NBA Finals, 35 points, 11 rebounds, 11 assists. And as Butler said after the game, it once again points to Miami's tenacity and re resiliency, a trademark of this team all season long. Just play hard. Um, got to what we wanted to get to on offense. Shared the ball like we always do. And um, just kept with it. This is a game of runs. I think we withstood there. It wasn't just Jimmy Butler in this game. It was also Duncan Robinson. He made seven three-pointers in tonight's game. And there's only two other players ahead of him who have made more threes in an NBA Finals game. That is Steph Curry and Ray Allen. And as Eric Spolster said after the game, this is what his team wants, to be in a position competing for a championship and relishing in the competitive fire in these big games. They're, they're like you know, sticks of dynamite. They can go off at, uh, at any time, and, and we needed that tonight. Los Angeles Lakers are up 3-2 to two in this series and have two attempts still to win an NBA championship. But think about the miss or make nature of basketball. You, you go back to the 2013 NBA Finals. Ray Allen makes that game-winning buzzer beater to tie the game against the San Antonio Spurs. The Heat win in overtime en route to the NBA championship. Game seven a few years later, 2016, Kyrie Irving makes that three to give the Cleveland Cavaliers the advantage in winning that championship. Danny Green had an opportunity tonight with LeBron James being double teamed to hit that shot. Unfortunately, he just couldn't convert the game winning shot. But LeBron James said after the game that, well, that is disappointing. That's all in the rear view mirror now. And he's going to be focusing on the film and getting his players ready to try to win the championship on Sunday night. This is Lucas Weiss reporting remotely on the 2020 NBA Finals.